But the big story on Action News this noon, major change is coming with respect to Philadelphia's COVID safety guidelines. This morning, the health commissioner ended the city's vaccine mandate for restaurants as COVID cases plummet. They've also unveiled these new four response levels, which are extreme caution, caution, masks only and all clear. Right now, masks are still required. Action News reporter Annie McCormick joins us now live along the Ben Franklin Parkway with more on this new path forward for the city. Annie. Yeah, and Sarah, this all goes into effect today. That means that we no longer need to show dining establishments a proof of vaccination in order to enter. And now it's seeing this tiered system that was officially announced today. It leaves many asking, when can we get back to normal? Meaning, when can we stop wearing masks within the city of Philadelphia? Well, Dr. Cheryl Bettigall, the chief, the head of the health department of the city, said that barring a few exceptions, that could happen in just weeks. As of today, we no longer need to ask our city's dining establishments to check vaccines. The new response levels are based on case counts, positivity, hospitalizations, and the rate of change in cases. And they'll provide transparency into what city residents and business owners can expect going forward. This is the tiered system the city is using. Right now, the city is in mass precautions only. In January, the new mandate to require dining establishments to check for proof of vaccination began. There are two arguments. Some say it let customers feel safer. Others criticized it as another hurdle for already struggling restaurants and venues. And yet another issue where employees have to enforce mitigation measures on guests. Now with this tiered system announced. Dr. Cheryl Bettigall explained how we could be close to the all clear tier soon. Assuming that there's not another new variant, it looks like we could be there in just a few weeks. The numbers are looking good. We would need three of the four metrics. I think the case count is the one that we um, are most optimistic about reaching before we would reach the hospitalizations, just because hospitalizations tend to lag. Now, and some of those benchmarks that are listed, depending on which tier that we could move into, the city has hit some of those benchmarks during the entire duration of the pandemic, albeit for only brief periods of time. Now, in regards to when this all goes into effect, again, it will begin today. Now, when ultimately it does come to the point that we do not have to wear masks anymore, that does not include federal buildings. For now, reporting live along the Parkway, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah and Brian. Okay, Annie, thank you.